YouTube, once again we're back, back in the stock room, back to bring you another review. So today, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Air Force One. You know, I've had this shoe for a while, I hit it on sneakers app, and I've uh, just been sitting on this pair for a while because I couldn't decide or make my mind up if I wanted to actually keep this pair or not. So, you know, I need y'all to help me decide. You know, I, I was contemplating putting them on foot, but maybe not because... You know, if I don't like them or if I'm not going to keep them, I want to go ahead and let them go on my eBay and let someone get a fresh pair um, of these Air Force Ones. But then again, you know, if I put them on foot, you never know. It's like, you know, once you put a shoe on foot, sometimes that can change your whole perspective on the shoe and can end up, you know, liking the shoe and wanting to keep them. And, um, you know, I got some feedback from family members. They're 50-50 uh, on it. So some say keep them. They don't. Some said, nah, go ahead and let them go for the price they're going for. There's other stuff that's coming out throughout the year that you might want to go ahead and grab. So uh, I'm going to let y'all, you know, help me out and determine in the comments, you know, once the review is over and the video is over, comment down in the comment section below if I should keep or not. You know what I'm saying? Cop or drop. So that being said, let me go ahead and uh, give a, a brief description because I, I had to do some research on this brand myself, um, you know, Cactus uh, Plant Flea Market because I didn't know too much about the brand. I've seen you know, their collaboration throughout the years with Nike, things of that nature, but I wasn't too keen on the brand. So let me go ahead and read you know, uh, some of the research I've done and what it says about the brand and who the owner is, things of that nature. So what it says here is Cynthia Lou is actually the owner. So it says, rumor has it that Cactus name was given to Lou by previous co-owners after noticing she had a cactus on her desk and encouraged by Pharrell who saw similarities between the plant and the designer both being sharp, short, and hard to touch. So Cynthia Lou started the brand inside of her apartment in Brooklyn, New York. Lou began thinking about the brand in 2012 when she began the job with the PR office of the apparel company Billion Billionaire Girls Club, which is owned by Pharrell Williams. So that's a little history and backstory about this brand and, and shoe and collaboration. So, you know, without further ado, let's get into the review. Okay, so let's start off with the box. So, of course you get that uh, brown and white Nike box. It's kind of like an off-white, but you can see the design of the Nike is kind of kind of different, kind of boxy. Uh, you got the Air Force One with the orange and the white Nike sign. You got Nike underneath, you got the yin and the yang sign there. On this side, you got another Nike logo branding. And on this side, another Nike logo branding. So we get to opening the box. It comes with this nice dust bag and it has Nike Air on the front, Force One, Yin and Yang sign, Nike sign, logo, and just do it with the actual dot as well. Uh, nothing on the back. Got your little yellow pull string here. It's pretty cool, man. Like we said, we love when we get extras with our, uh, you know, our sneakers when we're paying, you know, all this money for these sneakers. It's always nice when they, they give us extras uh, to go with the shoe. And and it's like a wool type of material and it's, uh, it's, it's very, a very good quality material. And the, all the writing that's on the front of the dust bag is actually like stitched in. It's actually patches. So it's a very, very good quality uh, dust bag. Let's go ahead and get the shoes out first and we'll talk about what comes with the insides. Cool. So, inside of the box, you'll get your Nike paper. You get your blue Nike paper that'll have CPFM, which stands for Cactus Plant Flea Market. You got Air and you got Nike. And it looks like a sky with that blue and white. Looks like clouds. And then the inside of that paper, you should get an extra uh, layer of paper as well. Inside the box, you'll get your green stamp here and box dimensions right there. And that's pr that pretty much does it for the box. So on the right shoe, you'll see it's pretty much a, a white Air Force One, but it has some, some details on it as well. So let's start with the bottom of the shoe. The bottom of the shoe, you'll see, you got that all white classic Air Force One bottom of the shoe with your Nike right there in the middle. As we look at the lateral side of the shoe, 
you'll see it's all a basic Air Force One, but it has this large Air logo on the side of the shoe, as you can see. And on the outside of that Air, it's covered in 3M. So this does actually glow in 3M. So, I mean, you can kind of see it right now as I'm showing you, but yeah, it does have that 3M pop to it. You can see behind the lettering, you have your classic Nike swoosh. Behind the lettering, you got your Air down there on the bottom of the shoe. Let me see, what is this, glue stings? Ah, get that out of there. All right, you got your Air on the sole of the shoe in the midsole, clear white midsole. So move to the back of the shoe, you got your Nike Air on the back of the shoe. On the medial side of the shoe, you got your plain looking Air Force One. And you know, I will say the quality on this pair, the leather that they use is, is super plush and it's a nice grain of leather. So it's not like your typical Air Force One leather. This is a pretty plush, nice grain of leather. So as you move to the front of the shoe, you got your white rope laces. And these laces are, they feel a little different than your standard rope laces. Uh, I can't quite explain it, but they do feel a little bit more, I would say more premium in a sense. You got the standard Air Force One plate there at the bottom of the tongue. White toe, toe box, white toe cap, perforated holes inside of the toe box. So we move uh, to the tongue of the shoe, you got your I don't know if it's gonna bring it. I might white it out because it's all white shoe and the light. Just like Nike Air Air Force One is what it says there. Standard. Uh, let's see here. You do get an extra spare of white laces. I don't know. I mean, they look sale. They don't look as white as compared to the shoe. So they do look like a sale laces, and they're fatter too. It's a fat lace that you get. Kind of reminds me of back in the day when we used to put the fat laces in our uh, Nikes and our Adidas uh, back in the day. So you do get that. Let's see what's in the inside of the shoe. Now for this pair, you do get shoe trees. This release did come with shoe trees and it should look exactly like this if you want a legit check. Mine has uh, the letters of, looks like QA-7RM and um, it has some uh, recycle signs here. It has a Nike sign there and some logo. And so if you can see that, I don't know if the camera's picking up the numbers, but that's how it's looking in the inside. It doesn't say die sock liner or anything like that. Die cut sock liner is just plain on the inside of the tree. So that's how it should be if you want to legit check your shoes. On the inside of the shoe, you can see you got what looks like a heat map type of uh, insole with your purple, green, yellow, and red. And it has an R for right foot and your sizing tag there as well. So that's what it should look like as far as the right shoe goes and in them and like I said this quality now that I got the shoe tree out you can see I mean look at that I mean that's crazy plush that's the kind of leather we want on all our kicks if we can get them but yeah that just gives you another idea of how plush the leather is the quality on the shoe now on your left pair same as the the right shoe lateral medial is a little different so you have sun sun shine on this pair so s-u-n s-h-i-n-e all outlined in that 3m as well now on the medial side of this shoe you can kind of see the nike sign poking out a little bit more still behind the lettering and on the lateral side you can see it as well you can kind of see that 3m starting to pop um, throughout the shoe my favorite part of the left shoe is the s on the back i do like that i don't know why um i don't know call me a hype beast whatever you want but I do like how that S looks on the back of the shoe. So as you can see, it's kind of covering the Nike Air that's on the back as well. And on the inside of this shoe, you have your uh, red. It's kind of like the opposite of the other shoe. So the red is kind of like the heat. And then you have, uh, it looks like a, a hit of like peach or orange. And you got your yellow, blue, and green, which are L, meaning left shoe. And you got your size and tag right there, men's size 10. So yeah, so that's pretty much the, the review. Uh, what I wanna do is uh, hop back in front of the camera, give you my honest opinion, and then uh, let's see if we can go ahead and hop into this on foot. All right, so now that we've, we've seen the uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Force One in a white colorway, 
uh, I need y'all to tell me what you think. You know, is this a cop or is it a drop? Now, what I'm gonna do, let me go over pros and cons. Let's, let's do it that way, all right? All right, so let's go over the, the, the cons, right? The cons are, you know, so all white Air Force One. How many all white Air Force Ones do I have in my collection? Uh, a lot. So right now I got about uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I got the Supreme all white Air Force One. I got the classic all white Air Force One. I got the uh, Snake, the Snake print um, Air Force One that just restocked about a few months ago. And um, man, I, I can't think right now. I did have the uh, Cactus Jack Air Force Ones, but I, I ended up selling those. So this would be my like fourth or fifth pair of all white Air Force One. Do I really need another all white Air Force One? You know, how often am I gonna wear them? And uh, you know, really, what's different about them is it is a clap, and you know, it does have the you know nice features on on the shoe as well, but. Do I really need another white pair Air Force One? Uh, another con is there's other shoes that are coming out this year that I really want, that I'd rather have. Like for instance, uh, we got the Fear Fours that's coming out in November uh, 2025. We ain't even gonna talk about that. 2025 is about to be a banger. All our pockets, we about to be broke. So we need to save up our taxes, our bonuses at the end of the year, whatever we can, because 2025 is gonna be a wild year. And uh, I'm happy that Nike's bringing back some of the OGs and some of the coveted uh, shoes that we as regular sneakerheads couldn't get our hands on unless you were plugged in. So um, you got that coming up, right? Uh, these are going, I I'll mention that because right now these are going for about you know $300 in a size 10. So, you know, can I really use that money for something else that I want this year that's coming out that I really probably want more than these here. And uh, I'm happy that Nike's bringing back some of the OGs and some of the coveted uh, shoes that we as regular sneakerheads couldn't get our hands on unless you were plugged in. So um, you got that coming up, right? Uh, these are going, I I'll mention that because right now these are going for about, you know, $300 in a size 10. So, you know, can I really use that money for something else that I want this year that's coming out that I really probably want more than these? All right, cool. So, you know, that that's the cons really, you know, let's go over the pros. So the pros, it's a dope shoe. I do like it. Um, it is different. It is a collab. It, it was very limited. You're not going to see a lot of people with this pair on when you're out and about. So it is a head turner. You will turn. It will turn some heads definitely with this shoe on, with these letterings uh, all over throughout the upper of the shoe. Uh, another pro: the quality. It's different than your regular quality on Air Force One. The quality on this pair of shoe is just it's ridiculous. Uh, it's a great grain of leather and they spread no expense when it comes to the quality of the shoe. So that's another pro. Um, another pro, Air Force Ones, all white Air Force Ones, they go with anything. You can wear them during the winter with a, you know, a, a, a sweatsuit, a, a gray and white Nike sweatsuit, black and white, red and white. Uh, in the summertime, it is summer right now, so it can go with anything as far as um, just wearing a pair of colorful shorts with a white tee. Uh, I had to go with it and throw on these so it does go with everything and you know off white Air Force One is a clean shoe uh, In my opinion and one of the classics that will live the test of time will never go out of style in my opinion So I mean what I'm up three pros to, to two cons So I mean, I don't know man you guys help me out comment in, comment down in the section below in the comment section below You know what should I do is this a copper drop? You know should I keep them or should I go ahead and let them go? So you know Without further ado, you know, I want to go ahead and hop into uh, this on foot and uh, maybe that'll be the determining factor for me uh, and let me know if I'm going to go ahead and keep this shoe or not. Uh, I appreciate all the support once again, you know, to all my OGs. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming back to my uh, new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Um, and uh, we're going to keep bringing you reviews like this. So stay tuned. And, and like I said, stay tuned for the on foot and until the next review, until the next drop. I'm out. Dying one. Dying one. Rock. Did you know? Did you know? Rock money knows. I know. I know. The way I'm dipping steps so fresh, they call me Manny. Plus the crossover so cold, they come in handy. Every day I shoot a movie, call me Stanley. Can't walk a mile off in my shoes if you can't stand me.
So exclusive, this only for friends and family We up on sleeps and they so geek, we high on fashion what, what, What's up, what's up, what's happening? I'm extra fresh out the package, shipping and handling Like with 4D, I'm an OG like Jordan 03, yeah It's getting OC, they're flashing on me, they trying to clone me, yeah Shout to DE for the 3P, I'm like Kobe, yeah The passion feed me, yeah I know you see me, yeah Time one I'm so white, this world, they say I'm gone, gone About to hit the game up like a one time Done, 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 done I'm done one, done one I'm so white, this world, they say I'm gone, gone About to hit the game up like a one time Done, 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 done.